kids' imaginations are really all that they need. It's about becoming a part of the story and making stories come alive. Sword fighting, decoding secret messages, the enchantress, and scouting through the woods. Welcome to Camp Half-Blood. Taking a page from Rick Reardon's book series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the camp is one of many literacy enrichment programs across the country, run by Plato Learning, an organization founded by Crystal Bob Semple in 2009. How did this all get started for you? I owned a, a bookstore in Brooklyn. A young reader asked whether or not Camp Half-Blood, which is the story, the fictional setting of the story, whether or not it existed. I said, yeah. I just felt compelled to take them on a further journey, a journey that went off of the page and really came to life. And 14 years later, that journey has led to 16 camps in seven states across the U.S. Here, the campers call themselves demigods, half god, half mortals, who are fully immersed in a mythological adventure. What happens at your camps that connects them to literacy? So each week, a new story unfolds. The kids arrive at camp on a Monday and they find that for some reason the world has been turned upside down and challenge the kids through activities to figure out what's going wrong in the story and how to make it right. Through role playing, kids learn leadership skills, problem solving and teamwork, all while wielding a foam sword. This is really rooted in research, right? What you're doing here at camp. Absolutely. Literacy is not just reading and writing. It goes way beyond that. The research shows is that when kids can engage in a deep way with stories, they can move from being consumers of stories to creators of story. Learning aside, it's clear these kids are just having fun. Why do you love it? The sword fighting. <laughs> The sword fighting is a lot of fun and you yeah. get to like meet and engage with new yeah. people. Show me with your hands. Who's been to this camp before? <laughs> and you're back because you loved it? Yes. yes. Has this camp changed how you experience reading? Do you see yourself in any of the stories? Yes. yes. Definitely. Definitely. I feel like it's given me more of an open mind to books and I've also moved on to thick books. <laughs> We have parents tell us all the time that my kid wouldn't necessarily pick up a book and now I can't stop them from reading these stories and other stories over and over again. Now it was my turn to become part of the story. My role, an investigative journalist helping the demigods figure out the whereabouts of a stolen artifact, of course. So we're looking for something like this. A few minutes into our hike. Whoa, 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 whoa. A clue. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Potinus. I'm a philosopher. The young campers had many questions. Why were you just wandering out here in the forest? Why do you have a feather? What's in that bag of yours? You said prophecy, right? Yeah. It's backwards. It's backwards. Um, wait. Okay. It's oh. W A is the enchantress. Finding out how their adventure ends would have to wait, but these kids are already the heroes of their own story. Bye, people! Bye, Bye. people! Okay, uh, cute stuff, right? And they great. love this camp, all of these kids that go there. Well, the camp director, Megan Hartman, told me that the kids live by what they call a hero code at their camp, and they apply that hero code to the real world as well. It's things like leading with compassion, treating others with kindness, things we can all get behind. And listen to this, 8,000 plus kids mm -hmm. were registered in Play-Doh Learning programs this summer, and there are still some available spots that go through mid-August. So okay. if that looks like something your kid's interested in, there you go. It was good yeah. to see you out there and involved. That's I, right. I had my foam sword. I love it. Ready to go. <laughs> so I did not participate in the sword fighting. I think I would have had okay. an unfair oh. advantage. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That's true. Uh, all those, some of those kids look pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, it looked intense from afar. That's so, why we made sure to let you know it's foam. They yeah, foam, foam. Right. yes. Savannah, <laughs> thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.